obligatory video of me adjusting the camera. You know what I wish I had? I wish I had a little drink, a little beverage. Life is 50% more boring without a fun little drink. Oh well, we'll do it without. What's up guys, welcome back. It's your girl, you already know who it is. And if you don't, it's Haley. What's up? We are back with another haul, a collective haul. I said I was gonna do one of these like every season. So technically that would mean I was due for one in the fall. It is now November. I think that's still fall time. It's freezing outside, but you know what? Better late than never. So this is gonna be a transitional collective haul. And guess what? There's a lot. So we're gonna get through it as quickly as we can, but as I'm looking at my bed right now, I'm a little overwhelmed. So sit back, relax, grab a little snack, a little beverage before you forget, like I did, and enjoy. I will also be linking everything in the description. It's a lot of work, but somebody has to do it. And I know we're all gonna go run and buy all these things immediately after I mention them. So. You're welcome. I'm gonna start with what I'm wearing. I bought this Target set a few days ago and it's the Cable Knit Seamless set, I believe. I got it in the brown color. It also comes in cream, I think like an ugly lime green and like another color. I really liked the brown and the cream was really cute too, but it was just like, you'll never catch me in a pair of cream leggings, I'm sorry. I also got the long sleeve version with the little thumb holes. I love a thumb hole. If anything has a thumb hole, I'm getting it even if it's ugly. This is not, I don't think it is. Let me know. I like it because it's like festive without being too in your face Christmas, but like the cable knit is really fun and cute for winter. The next thing I got, I'm obsessed with. It is also from Target and it's this puffy white jacket. I don't even know what to call it. It's not a puffer jacket, but it's really cute. It has this little hood. It has these little ties on the bottom so you can cinch it and it's super warm. I haven't had like a white jacket for winter before. So this is gonna be very cute to pair with a lot of things. Now moving into some tops I got recently. This one is from H&M. It's just an oversized sweater. It's so soft and comfy for the price. I forget how much it was. I think it was like $25, which is pretty good for like a heavyweight sweater. I really like the thick neckline and it's just cozy and soft for anything. Work, an outing, going to the Christmas tree farm, you know, moving to another state where you meet the local butcher and you fall in love and you get married and you're running away from your ex-husband. This sounds like, what is that movie? Safe Haven. Never seen it, but I've had it described to me a few times. Anyway, we're gonna move on. The next two things are these Sunday Best tops from Aritzia. They are so cute. I'm obsessed with them. They're like a Skims dupe, but I've never felt the Skims one, so this one is perfect for me. I really like how high the neckline is. I know a lot of people don't like high necklines on their t-shirts, but I do. I think it's just like really cute. And I got this brown, like chocolate brown color. And then I also just got this basic white. The white is see-through, very see-through. So I usually wear it under dresses or with, you know, a little something under. The next thing is also from Aritzia. This is from the brand Wilfred Free. It's just this long ribbed t-shirt. I just needed a basic black long sleeve. It's cropped. It's cute. She works for everything. The next thing is this denim Levi's shirt. Oh, that's definitely buttoned wrong. Okay, well, the next thing is this denim shirt. It is from Aritzia, but it's Levi's. We just sold it there and it was the last one, so I bought it. I just wanted like a good old country denim button up, you know, that I can wear like denim on denim with some cowboy boots. But yeah, it's very cute, oversized, and I love it. The next thing is something that I have literally abused in the last 90 days, 60 days. I don't know when I got it, but it's this TNA, also from Aritzia, um, zip up. It's like a cute little sporty top that goes over anything. I usually wear it to the gym or just out when I'm doing errands, but I've worn this thing so many times. I'm obsessed with it. I also have it in like a taupe color, but I can't find it. So it's probably in the laundry or something. It's really warm, surprisingly, for how thin it is. It's made out of their butter material, which is just the softest, thinnest material they make out of all their leggings and sports bras and stuff, but highly recommend this one. The next thing is from Wilfred Free. I 
am obsessed with this. This is one of my favorite purchases this fall and I've worn it so many times. I'm just gonna show you. It's this like oversized jacket shirt thing. I wear it as a dress, but I also wear it as a jacket. I also wear it as a little, uh, what's it called? A cardigan. I also love how the material is like this weird stretchy, like sweatery material, but it's like super tight knit. I don't know what it is. Let's look. It is, it's, 53% lensing, eco vero, vico okay, you know what? It's polyester, nylon, elastic. Okay, the next couple items are things that I thrifted recently. I got them all in the same shopping trip, which I felt like I won a million dollars. Like I am obsessed with all of these things. The first one, I didn't button it up, but it's this teal green button up. I hope that the color shows up on camera correctly because I was looking for something that was exactly this color, just that I can wear for fall. And I found one. This is from Goodwill. So go ahead and hit up your local Goodwill and maybe the same person that donated this donated another one you never know girl but anyway i'm obsessed with it the only beef i have with this top is that it is a menswear top and it kind of has this like staticky feeling when it's on like it kind of like sticks to me if i'm wearing certain fabrics don't love that but it's nice and soft and it's oversized and cute and i just like clothes Okay, the next thing I thrifted, and it's this Polo by Ralph Lauren cardigan. It's so cute. It has the little logo there. And it's just like this really nice, like, I don't know what this is called. I don't know terms for anything. So it's like a knit cardigan, you know? And it has three little buttons. It has two little pockets. It's just a cardigan, but I just love it. I think it gives like New England mom or dad either one. The next thing I thrifted is this Wrangler's denim jacket. Need I say more? It's a men's denim jacket. It's oversized. It's so cute. It's like the perfect shade of blue denim. I like this really like bright medium blue for denim. I think it's just so classic and cute. This was a steal. It was like $30 and obsessed. Not all of this stuff is from Goodwill. This one was from Crossroads and the cardigan was also from Crossroads. So we did a little shopping that day. All right. So this next item is from one of my besties. Gotta plug them. Gotta shout them out. Not for free though. It's a brand called Warm Art District. My fiance's brother actually created this brand. It's just a bunch of really comfy hoodies, t-shirts, what have you, half sips, crewnecks, anything you need for a little Christmas gift for you, for a family member, for a friend me reading a teleprompter um with a gun to my head no i'm kidding but yeah i'm obsessed with this i just got it a little while ago and it's just this big oversized hoodie it has the logo on the back in big letters it's really comfy cozy it has the little logo on the inside too and yeah you're welcome josh all right the next how are we doing on time is everyone still here are we Bored? Are we entertained? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, this next thing is also from Aritzia. It's this cute little TNA action romper. I feel like Meredith Blake in this. I think it channels her energy. Comment below if you think that Meredith Blake is the victim, not the villain in that movie. But yeah, it gives parent trap. It has these cute little pockets on the side, even though I hate leggings and shorts with pockets, you know, like active shorts. I think it's gross. But anyway, I just couldn't resist i wanted it and it's just a little sporty spice vibe for when we're out on the town this next one i feel like i've overworn this like a million times by now but i'm gonna show it anyway it's this skims soft lounge cami dress i'm obsessed i need to find a different word than obsessed uh anyway yeah, I tried it on. I think I'm like a small, maybe an extra small in this brand, but the medium was the only one they had left in the black and I really wanted the black and I tried it on and I was like, this is actually fine. Like it fits well, it's not too tight. It's a little bit long because I'm 5'5", five five, but it works and we love her. Next item, Target came through again. I, You know what? Target has been surprising me lately by how good their clothing is. I used to not, I would walk straight through the clothing section, whatever, and go to, you know, the food. And now I've been going to Target for the clothing because it's been popping off. Not everything at Target is cute. Like a lot of the stuff gives like Midwest vibes. There's nothing wrong with the Midwest. 
my fiance is from the Midwest, so I have a pass. Um, but anyway, I got this maxi brown, chocolate brown, leg slit, cutie little dress, and I love it. It's like so comfy and nice to just throw on when I feel like putting no effort into my outfit, but it looks like I showed up, you know? It looks like I actually put effort in, which I didn't. I also love this high neck situation. I don't know why I'm holding this up, but I'm a big fan. We love chocolate brown. Next item makes me feel like what does it make me feel like? It makes me feel like I'm a New York, um, just a little city girl, you know, like out on the town doing my errands, grabbing a lunch or salad with a friend and then getting a martini later. It probably doesn't give those vibes to you, but let me know. It's this towel neck or what is this called? It's this like slouchy turtleneck maxi dress. I got this from guess where? Here's the options. Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack or TJ Maxx. Go ahead and guess. I got it from TJ Maxx. Like we don't, you know, it's the same. It's like the Midwestern vibes. No hate against the Midwest. We love the Midwest, we love them. But TJ Maxx is one of those places where I'm like 99% of this stuff is going to be things that I, I'm not gonna take a second look at. But this one caught my eye. I tried her on, it's kind of a vibe with like a knee high boot. What is this? House of Harlow? Don't know what that is, but we will be back for more. Okay, moving on to pants. I'm gonna show you a pair of pants that I'm like, I sold my soul for these pants. I'm actually in love with them. They are these pair of Levi jeans. I don't know what kind. Oh, 501. Okay, they're 501s. I thrifted them from Wasteland in Studio City. And let me tell you, they haven't come off my body except for right now. They have a little butt rip on both sides and I fell in love when I tried these on. They were super ripped when I first got them and I bent down once to like test out if they would rip and they completely like they went all the way to here it was like to here before but I got them patched and they're my holy grail the next pair of pants are these effortless pants from Aritzia in you guessed it chocolate brown I never thought I would be an effortless pant girly because I was like oh they're overrated it's just a trouser I don't like trousers a million reasons why I shouldn't get them also they're expensive but we tried them on popped off a little too hard so we bought them the next pair of pants is also from Aritzia this has really opened my eyes you know like where is my paycheck going anyway the next pair of pants are called the picture pants from Wilfred Free they have all these little pockets on them and they're just like the perfect crossover cargo slash jean. They're not really jeans, but you know what I mean? They're just like a straight leg cargo pant. They're not super baggy. I also love how they're super high-waisted and they're just flattering on literally anybody. Everyone that tries them on looks amazing in them. Highly recommend. The last bottom I'm gonna show you is from Zara. I was just walking through one day, just seeing, you know, what's new, what's good. And I found this maxi skirt. We all need a maxi skirt. I've seen too many of them to not get jealous at this point. So I had to get one. This one is made out of like the stretchiest comfiest material ever there's no slit there's no nothing it's just what you see is what you get i love it it goes with little t-shirts tank tops jackets whatever and super cute for fall if you want to wear like a dress or a skirt without freezing i need water or something oh my god i don't know how long this video is right now but it's been like 30 minutes of me saying things and starting over and saying them again i need water Okay, we can continue. All right, now we're on to accessories. The next thing I'm gonna show you is probably one of my favorite things I've gotten this year. I am so thankful for these. They're from my fiance. I have worn them out. It's only been a month <laughs> since he gave them to me for my birthday. I keep looking at them because they're down there. One second, but they are so cute and you'll understand why when I show you. They are this perfect pair of little cowgirl boots. I just love them so much. I wore them to the pumpkin patch. We went to a little pumpkin patch for Halloween time and they, you know, they're like super sturdy, but they're also just like really aesthetically pleasing. And they also hit me at the perfect place on my leg. I just, I love them. They're from a brand called Thursday Boots. He also has a pair from there and they're not cowboy boots. They're like 
boots, whatever, different boots. And we both love ours. So definitely recommend looking up Thursday boots. The next pair of shoes that I got, I thrifted actually from Crossroads. And they are these pair of cute little Oxfords. I was so on the fence about Oxfords and loafers and all of those like Michael Jackson shoes for a long time. I call them Michael Jackson shoes because they are with the little white socks. I was so on the fence about them for so long because I just thought they were like not it, you know? But I tried these on. I was like, let me get on the train. I was like pleasantly surprised, but only like 50%, you know? Like half of me is still like, ugh, like when they're on my body. But yeah, they're like cute. If I want to have my little like quirky indie girl moment. They're no Doc Martens, but they get the job done if you're into that kind of thing. We might be selling them. The next accessory is something that I have always wanted. I'm obsessed with and I couldn't be more thankful for. Like I just, I, I got it for my birthday and I was not expecting it at all. My mom got it for me and I never thought it was gonna be something this big. I have never had a designer bag in my life. Didn't really think I was gonna get one anytime soon. I have always loved YSL. YSL is like one of my favorite designer brands and their bags are just so classic and nice. And she got me one. I am so thankful you are gonna kill me if you are a designer bag fan i don't know what it's called but look how cute it is regardless like i have overworn it at this point and it's just like the perfect little black bag it just latches in the middle and put all your little things inside but yeah so thankful for this i am gonna keep it nice for as long as i possibly can but anyway yeah a obsessed. The next bag that I got, this is kind of hard to follow up after the YSL bag, but it's, I'm kidding. It's this cute little fanny pack from TNA from Aritzia. It's like this gray, like charcoal gray color. It's just the perfect bag to just throw on. It's adjustable, obviously. I've been using this one a lot in place of my YSL bag because I just want to give it breaks. But yeah, it's just the perfect everyday bag. Throw it over your shoulder, throw it this way, throw it this way, you know, whatever. Just throw it around. It's just such a cute little throw around bag. And speaking of bags, one of my best friends, Shelby, just really set the bar with this one for our gifts for each other from now on for birthdays and Christmas because I don't know what I'm gonna get her after she got me this. She got me an A24 overnight little duffel bag. If you don't know what A24 is, you should know or look it up. But I like, what? It's so cute with the little white zipper and this and this. This is not fair because now I have no idea what to get you Shelby, but be prepared to be disappointed. The last accessory, this isn't really like an accessory accessory, it's like a tech accessory, but since people are wearing them and probably not even listening to music on them, they just wear them to take pictures. These have been my best friend lately because I'll just walk around Target in these and the little people outside with the clipboards can't bother me because I have my headphones on. They are these cute little wireless beats. I got these from Justin. Everyone popped off for my birthday. I was like not ready, but I was overwhelmed but these are one of the gifts that he got me and i had never seen this color it's like one of my favorite colors is like this slate gray like this nice charcoal gray and it has these little gold accents and then it has this like beige interior like it's a car so nice i'd never seen this color before i was so surprised and yeah they're just like the cutest things ever like look at them hello like perfect for the gym, perfect for ignoring you, what have you. The very last accessory, which is probably not very um, fun, but I'm gonna show you anyway, is these cute little headbands. I got these at Target and it comes in this little four pack with all these different like neutral gray colors. I've seen girls wearing the little like thick headband with like sunglasses and a little puffer jacket all over Pinterest. And it's so cute, like I've never, worn one but i think i'm gonna get into it i think i'm gonna look like a little ski bunny this winter the last thing is completely unnecessary but i have to share because it's something that like 
wowed me and I wasn't ready for. But I needed a new shampoo and conditioner and I've been using the Kristen S like clear one for a long time. I think it's called clarifying. I don't know what it is, but it's the clear one. There's only one. And I ran out and I needed a new one. So I tried a Paul Mitchell shampoo, worst decision of my life, returned it. And then I got this one, which is also by Kristen S and it's the signature shampoo, but you cannot see it at all. There you go. It's the signature shampoo and the signature conditioner, like best decision of my life because they work so well. They're high lathering, which I definitely noticed. And my hair is freaking silky smooth. And it also makes it so easy to style for some reason because I use my little round blow dry brush. Yeah, I love those so much. Anyway, in conclusion, that was my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to try to upload more frequently because I've been noticing I upload now like once every two months, which is not the vibe I'm going for. I wanna be uploading once a month, probably, maybe every two weeks. Don't get your hopes up. I was supposed to upload a Hawaii vlog because me, my fiance, and my parents went to Hawaii beginning of October and it was so much fun. But when I got back and I put the footage on my laptop and I was going to edit, most of the footage looked like this. And I was like, was I having the time of my life or something? Because I literally forgot to vlog anything important. And it was all just like 10 seconds of trees swaying, 10 seconds of, you know, sea turtles. So I think that trip was more for me to just enjoy and not for you to see. Let's not waste each other's time. You know what I mean? Anyway, thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Even though I don't really make TikToks, I'm going to start trying to because why not? More wedding vlogs to come for sure. There is so much to do. We're getting closer and closer to like deciding on things instead of just like talking about it. And it's getting really fun. So we are going to look at more venues on Monday. I thought we had our minds made up i guess we did not so i guess you will get to see that process and come along with us anyway i've been talking for like 45 minutes i'm gonna go get my beverage enjoy and edit this video for you get it out as quick as possible have an amazing day happy holiday season i would say christmas but it's november like fifth so anyway see you in the next one do the try on oh my god oh the amount that i want to touch my hair during these videos and i don't because i think it'll get like messed up or ugly like look how much better this looks when i'm touching my hair <sighs> thanks to my kristen ass shampoo okay try on